Cartwright Saxon Course 2, Lesson 31, is reading and writing decimal numbers. So here we have write 7 tenths as a fraction and a decimal. The 7 is going to be your numerator, and the tenths is going to be your denominator for the fraction part. So it's going to be 7 tenths. Now as a decimal number, you're still going to use the number 7, but the tenths, it tells you what place value it's in. So we have zero ones, decimal point, and then the seven goes in the tenths place, which is the first place value after the decimal. So it's going to be 0 0.7, seven tenths. Okay, with this one, I have this square, and I need to um, give the shaded portion as a fraction and as a decimal. So there are a hundred squares total, and then I have 23 squares shaded in. So my fraction is going to be the 23 squares shaded over the 100 squares total. For the decimal, I need to make sure that this 23 is in the hundredths place. So my place value is 0 0.23. And just make sure that 3 is in the hundredths place, which it is, because it goes tenths, hundredths. Okay, so this is just a chart of the pl decimal place values. So in the number 12.34579, which does it is in the sevenths, in the thousandths place. So I'm going to write that in 12.34579. Okay. So then you figure out which digit is in the thousandths place. So it's tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So the five is in the thousandths place. Name the place occupied by the seven in this number. So if I write the number, I'm going to count it. So tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So the seven is in the ten thousandths place value. Okay, this next one wants me to read the decimal number. And it's 123 and 123 thousandths. Because what you do is you first read the whole number. The decimal, we say, is and. And then we read the fraction part, ending with the name of the last decimal place. So if I was to write this, it would be 123 huh. Do better with my writing. 23 and, okay, there's my decimal, 100. Twenty-three. Now I have to finish with the place value it's in. That th final three is in the thousandths place value, so it's going to be 123 thousandths. If I remember how to spell it. There we go. 123 thousandths. Now with this one, use digits to write these decimal numbers, 75 thousandths and 111 hundredths. So the last word tells us what place value the number is in. Okay, in this case, for A, it's 75 thousandths, which means that the, it has to be in the thousandths place value. So first I'm going to draw out my decimal. So I have zero ones in my decimal point. And I have tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Now, 75 has to be in the thousandths place, so that means that it has to have the 5 and the 7 here. Okay? Which means that if I have a blank spot, I'm just going to be filling it in with a 0. So this is 75 thousandths. Okay? If, I, if I put point 75, that would be 75 hundredths. Okay, even if I added a zero at the end, it's still 75 hundredths. 
the last non-digit number tells me what place value it is. So that 5 has to be in the thousands place. For this next one, it's 111 hundredths. So remember, we have 100. The word and is my decimal point. Okay, And now I have 11 hundredths. So I need to do the hundredths place. So tenths, hundredths. And I'm going to fill in with the numbers I have, which is 11. So 111 hundredths. And that's it for the lesson.